Stephen Speak, the podcast about everything and nothing. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, welcome to Stephen Speak, episode 21, um, XXI. Um, feeling a little bit better this week, you'll uh, hopefully be happy to know, unless you hate me. Um, in which case, why are you listening if you don't like me, weirdo? And I thought I was weird. Anyway, um, if you're not listening just because you hate me, well, welcome. Um, Today's episode is is on something that is kind of kind of like I've touched on before, and I think it just goes about my personality in general, really. Uh, but it also really, really upsets me. <laughs> so it's going to be a really joyous episode. No, seriously, it's going to be light hearted. It's just one of these things that um, I just notice about myself, to be honest. And it's just um, I think sometimes we, you know. We know our own personality, don't we? Let's face it. And sometimes that just pisses us off. So today, today's episode, as you've, as you've probably seen from the title, um, it's about being a jack of all trades, but master of nothing. And that's kind of like what I feel like I am. And it really, it, well, it upsets me. I'm not going to lie. It, it upsets me that, you know, you see these people on, on Instagram and, and, and on telly being interviewed and, they, and they've really honed a skill from like childhood or like, young adulthood and they're in the forties uh, or or thirties and they and they really literally got good at something, be it football, um, art, anything. It's like bizarre things, you know, doing that cup thing where they stack cups and whatever. Um and I feel like I've never mastered anything. Now there might be things that I may have got good at. I'm struggling to think, but there may be things that I've got good at, but it's, and it's not, I don't know, um, I'm trying to think how to structure this, because um, this could go very wayward very quickly. Um, I just think that the way, the way that my brain works, um, it, 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 I'm, I'm a bit like Johnny Five. Uh, let's use a short circuit reference. If you haven't seen that film, please go and watch it. Um, Johnny Five was a robot in a film and he loved input. And that, that's kind of like me. I love to learn things. I love to know things. Um, but sometimes I'm quite happy with surface stuff. And I have a weird thing in my brain. Now, I don't know if it's how my brain is or if there is something going on with me. I know I've talked about ADHD and, and autism and stuff like that before. So whether, whether that's a trait. But I have this weird... Um, <laughs> this is going to sound really, really egotistical and... Uh, I don't know what another word for it is. Um, but I feel like I can do anything. Now, maybe not sports things, because I understand I'm not particularly fit, but anything that's like intellectual or, or skillful, <laughs> this is coming across so bad, I feel like I could master. And that, that, this is genuine, and it, I, I, don't feel like, I, don't, I don't feel like that's me being egotistical. I just feel like, when I start doing something and I can do it, I'm like, yeah, I probably could do that forever and be super skilled at it, but there's too many things in the world I want to try. So, like playing the guitar, for example. I'm okay at the guitar, not brilliant. If you put me on stage with a band, I could get along. I wouldn't be able to do lead guitar, but I could strum away and probably be okay with a band-ish, depending on how complex it was. Um... Because, you know, I did music, and in one of my previous episodes, I, tell you, I told you about you know, how I had music lessons. So I do have... Maybe that's the thing I was master of, and I just didn't fucking continue it. Huh. Um, episode over. Three minutes. Record. Um, yeah, but I don't think I was even a master of that. You know what I mean? I, I don't feel like I was... I was accomplished, let's say. But I don't feel like that even now is like a, a master... Um, a mastered art... Um, and then I've, I've, I've let it slip, and I'm, I'm mediocre at best, below mediocre in my in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I think I think um, I think that's the thing with me. Like I, I pick something up. I can normally pick. It has to be something I'm interested in, obviously. But when I started playing the guitar, I had a bass in music, so like the guitar came reasonably easy to me. And I got to I got to a level. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got I got at one point to a reasonably good level where I probably could have got on stage with the band and done a little bit of soloing and stuff, but not much. Um, but that was good enough for me. Um, and I was happy with that, you know? I, 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 I knew I was going to be a rock star or anything like that, and I wasn't in a band. It was only for my own pleasure, and I knew I could 
you know, if I was ever somewhere and someone picked up a guitar, I could I could jam along, like jam along, and I think that's that's what it was for me. And I felt like, and I did feel like, you know, if I keep practicing and practicing and practicing, I could be like Slash or another even better guitar player than Slash. Um, and that sounds like I don't like Slash. I do like Slash, but I just, he's mm, a bit overrated. I don't know. Everyone just refers to him, don't they? Like I just did. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think where I'm going with this episode. Basically, I'm an egotistical prick who thinks he's ace at everything, but just never puts his mind to it. Um... <laughs> yeah, I just, I just feel like that. I, I, gen I genuinely feel that if I put my mind, mind somewhere, I could do it, and that's. And I don't, I don't think that's like a, an overconfidence thing. I think it's just me thinking. I, I feel like it's a logic based thing. Like guitar, it's got its essence in music. It's it's structured kind of like a piano. You've got to put your fingers on chords, strum with one hand. So when I started learning the guitar, I was like, you know, what? I can do this because it's similar to the piano, um, or the organ, which which was which I was playing. So I wasn't surprised when I could play. It, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't easy. Like anything, you've got to practice. But it wasn't. I wasn't surprised that I could do it. Um. And I suppose it's like anything you turn your hand to. You've got to practice, you get better at it, even if you're crap at start, you know. But you've got to have a vested interest in it. I think what I, what I normally do is I'll, I'll think of something I want to do, and I'll be like, oh, I wouldn't mind learning that. And then I'll, I'll learn so much and think that maybe it just, like, sates my appetite. Um, and then I stray. But it's not like that I don't want to ever go back to it. Um, it's just that, that that part of me has been satisfied temporarily. Um, and I think about it's all, for me, it's, it's all about quick fixes of things, and and I get bored. Well, not bored. I lose interest very quickly in certain things, so I have to switch. And I've also said to you before that sometimes it's the opposite. Like I, I sometimes get so fixated on something I can't leave it, and I get upset if I have to leave something. So I think I've fundamentally got some issues. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe I do need a diagnosis. Um, but you know, it's it's one of the things that um. It's it's always bugged me, and I was I was thinking about it the other day. I can't, what was I, what was I doing? I remember I can't remember what it was, but I was doing something, and I and I just saw something. Uh, I I had a thought about something uh, that I'd seen on Instagram, and I was just thinking about the, like the de dedication and the time and effort it takes to to do that. I can't remember what it was now. I can't remember what it was. I've I've been following quite a few artists and stuff that do like realistic paintings, and that was kind of the spark to it as well. Um, but it was this guy. I think it's a guy anyway, he wears a mask, and I don't know even what he's called. Um if it is indeed a chap. Um but what they do is they they, they have like shapes, but then they, they move the shapes around as if it, it's I can't really describe it. It's if I try, if I if I get if I find him or her on Instagram, I'll 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 like put it in the description. But what they do is they have like say like battens with balls on. What is it? They make patterns, but it doesn't look like the hands are moving. It just looks like the things are moving around their hands, uh, and they have rings within rings, and they rotate around each other. Uh, anyway, if you see it, you'll completely understand what I'm on about. But I was, I was completely in awe of that. Just thinking to myself, um, like this is this is really really impressive stuff. And they're at the top of the game. Like it might be a weird top of game. But they're like at the top of the game doing that thing that they do. And I was just, all I could think to myself was that's, um, well, it's bizarre, but it's fascinating that they've got to that level of skill in, in such a, such a, a, um, a narrow area of like expertise. Like there's probably not many people, if any other people in the world, doing what they are doing. And, it kind of got me to thinking that there's 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 nothing really that I think that individualizes me, uh, and if you know me, let me know. I'm having a crisis of confidence right now <laughs> about my talents. Um, I mean, people say, "Oh, you're into Lego," but I'm not a Lego master. Like, I don't really play with Lego. Like when I was a kid, I used to make things with Lego and and such things. But I, I collect Lego. I'm a collector, and and fundamentally i'm trying to sort it all out and at some point I, I i have got a couple of projects that i would like to do with the lego for me be like me being a builder and i've designed some stuff on on lego um 
well, when it existed, the Lego Lego design program, which is I've used, I use another one now. But anyway, um, so I'm really a collector and a maker of Lego rather than a Lego designer. Um, that's to come whenever I get my shit sorted. And that that and well, that's that's the thing, isn't it? That's that's the thing that I do. I I start something, and then switch off it and go. I'll go back to that and become great at it later on. Um, and at this rate, I'm going to be retired before I actually get back to any of the stuff. Um, my interests are so vast and wide that I can't, I can't, I don't want to. Let's say, let's say, like donate all my time to one thing specifically because of the of the probably the the lack of attention span, and also I feel like I'm not paying anything else attention, and I get very guilty about it. And this is something I've talked about before as well. It's the guilt factor. That if I dedicate too much time to something, it's guilt. I mean, even doing this podcast, like I, I spend, um, well, my Stephen Speak extras are like fifteen minutes. These are like half an hour, unless there's a special one. It takes me like probably another half an hour, forty minutes on top of that to sort it all out, upload it, write a bit of a blurb. I probably tops three hours a week, really, three hours a week, and a bit maybe to to do some other stuff, like I'm doing surveys and stuff at the moment for guests and stuff. But three hours a week, which is not a lot if you think about it. Maybe four. Um, but I, I, I feel guilty about that with, with Sarah, about me me dedicating that time. And then I feel bad that I'm not doing anything else. And I feel like, I go, oh, my God, I can't. I've not sorted my Lego. And, I've done, and there's all these things. like, And I want to learn Japanese. And I started learning Japanese like 12 years ago, 15 years ago. I bought a couple of books and started trying to practice uh, is it kanji and and learning the alphabet. And and I, had, I stopped. So I, got, I started learning some stuff. And I was like, Oh yeah, I can learn it. I'll start that again another time. Um, and I was saying to Sarah yesterday, actually, and she annoyed me because she laughed at me a little bit. And I, it wasn't, it wasn't like direct. I, I took it bad at the time because sometimes when I'm being serious, I I, I can't cope with people laughing at me because um, I get like impassioned. And uh, she laughed at me because I th- she was basically thinking, "Oh shit, another thing he's going to try and take on." Really, that's that's what she was laughing at because she knows me better than I do. Um, I just took it as if she was laughing at me, and I felt I felt shitty about it, and I got shitty about it, if I'm honest. Uh, so sorry, <laughs> I didn't apologize to her. I'm not an arsehole. Um, well, in that moment, it was. Um, but yeah, I, and, and I said to her yesterday that you know I've always wanted to do a mechanics course. <laughs> she just laughed, and I was like, I was thinking, what's what's funny about that? But I can see where she's coming from, you know. Um, so so far, what we've got on the table is Lego. I'm I'm currently I've got board games going on at the moment. My mate bought me board games, and I'm trying to paint all the figures and get all the figures cut out so I can actually play the frigging board game. So I've got that on the go. I've got my podcast thing on the go, which I'm trying to do loads of stuff in the background, ready for the next series. I've got to re-sort my room out. I'm trying to tidy everything. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to sort my garage out. I've got some projects that I want to do for the garage. I want to make some furniture. I want to upcycle some stuff. Um, I want to exercise at some point. I want to go on my push bike. I'm trying to do that. You know, I'm trying to get into the exercise thing. I think that will make me feel better and be more motivated. I, want, I still want to learn Japanese, so I still want to do that. Um, there's something else as well. I can't remember, but that, that, I mean, that's enough to go on with, isn't it? And the reason I said about the mechanics thing is because my, my job currently is, is uh, and hopefully I'm going to stay in it, is that um, I don't work weekends. I don't do on call anymore. And I work like nine, pretty much nine till five. Um, and the thing that was holding me up before was my previous managerial jobs. I was on call and and instant response and doing out of hours visits and working weekends sometimes. And previous that I was on shifts. And when you're trying to do a course at a college or anyone anything like that, even if it's like a basic course, I did a photography course years and years ago, and it was sixty quid and it was like over eight weeks, which is cheap really. Um, I can only get to like four of the nights because I was on nights and, and um, I can only get to four, four of the lessons, should I say, which were at night because I was on nights and I couldn't get the time off, couldn't swap shifts with people. So I missed half the course um, and it didn't really give you anything at the end. It was just like a basic photography course. And I must admit, I think I was, I think I was at the level, I think it was like too much of a basic course anyway for me because I've been doing, I've been doing photography. Photography, by the way, is another thing I want to get back into because I started that and I bought myself a nice camera and then I got to the point where I needed to buy myself a new camera but then was like, I'll do that later on because that camera's going to be like 1,800 quid and I can't I can't do that at the moment because I didn't know whether I wanted to commit to it but I got my own website up and everything. I had a website for, for photography. <sighs> See, I do these things and then... um, 
I, I, I doubt myself. I think I doubt my, I doubt my ability. I go in with this, this massive confidence and like, I can do this, I can do that. And um, then it all just crumbles away. I guess I get somewhat good at something or think, actually, I can do that. And it's not, it's not just the fact that I think I'll come back to it. I think it's the fact that what if you fail? And I've talked about this before. Fail is a massive thing for me. Um, I found out recently that there's a thing called um, imposter syndrome. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I've read a lot of psychology books and I have heard about this, but I've never really related it to myself. But having uh, quickly searched like the symptoms of it and, and the psychology behind it, maybe that's what I have. Maybe that's maybe it's it's more of that than than and a bit of anxiety attached to that. Um, but yeah, it's it's it it's the fact that I don't, I don't believe I'm any good at anything as well. So it's it, all these. It's, I sound like a right shit show to be honest. I'm honestly a really nice guy, and I'm not an absolute twat. Uh, but I, I I just have this thing where I I don't feel like I'm I'm good at things. So but that's not only the thing that stops me because I feel like I can do anything. It's a real paradox. It's a real paradox. I'm an absolute I'm an absolute mess apparently. Um. <laughs> But like the photography thing, I think I'm really good at photography, and I've been told and told and told I'm really good at photography. Singing is another thing. Like people have told me I'm good at singing. Um, when I used to play the guitar a lot, I used to do karaoke and stuff. I used to busk and all this sort of stuff. And I, I always feel that more people tell me I'm good at something, I feel like I'm not. And when people tell me I was good at photography, I felt like I wasn't, and I, that that stopped. Um, now that that's that's an issue that there, isn't it? That that's that's something that that needs addressing. And that's one of the reasons I started this podcast, because I wanted structure. Um, I don't have many listeners. I don't, and I, I know I don't, I know I don't. I get, I get an, an, a, a nominal amount of downloads per week. And whoever's downloading this and listening to it, thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, but the reason I started this podcast was because I wanted that structure and I kind of was realizing why I was flitting between things and why I was never finishing anything off. And I wanted something that I like to talk. Maybe that's my master. Maybe that's what I think I'm good at. I love to talk. I love to, um, just chat. And, and this is something I thought I could keep up because it's just me talking. It's just, you know, me chatting away about something. Um, and it's kind of cathartic at the same time. So the, one of the reasons I, I, I started this podcast was because of that. And this is something I will continue as far as long as I can. And because I'm really enjoying it as well. And it, it it's minimal effort and it's part of my life per week. And it's bringing me joy and hopefully a few other people. It's, 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 uh, but yeah, but <sighs> I want to be a master of everything. Is another thing it comes down to. So to summarise, I think I'm brilliant at everything, but I hate myself for everything because I don't think I'm good at anything. I'm such a contradiction. It's all that balance, and I fall somewhere in the middle. So I, I want to be better. I want to. I want to try everything. I think I can be good at most things. Try it, and then leave it for later on, but never get back to it because I'm trying something else and I'm fear of failing. And then when I do think I'm getting good at something and people compliment me, I give up because I've got imposter syndrome. Wow. There's a synopsis for you. There's, there's, there's a diagnosis right there. Um, <laughs> I laugh, but it, it's it's all true, and it's it's kind of kind of a little bit disturbing. Um, so how do I, how do I how do I accomplish what I want to accomplish? Like, should I set myself out a timetable? If you've got any suggestions, by the way, there's, I'm generally asking this question. Um, if anyone listening feels the same, let me know. Like, just just get in contact if you know if you feel like this. Do you have this thing? Have, have you got over it? Let me know. Because um, I'm really trying. I'm really, I'm really thinking to myself, how, how do I get, get through this? How do I overcome this feeling of um, wanting to try everything, wanting to be the best at something? And I, I do accept I know I can't. I, I do accept that. And that, that kind of bothers me, but I, I think I'm mature enough now that I can accept I won't be good at everything. But also the things I'm good at is to pursue it enough that you know I can be good at something and and stick it and not worry about what people think. So I'm I'm better at taking negativity. Weirdly enough, if someone tells tells me that's really bad, I can shake that off better than someone someone giving me a compliment. I feel like when someone gives me a compliment, I just feel like they're lying, even if it's Sarah, my wife. Like I I genuinely feel like 
it's like an, an, an ego massage. Because I think when someone gives me negativity, my, log, my, my logical brain kicks in and goes, well, f- yeah, it's probably not as good as it could be, but I'm an amateur, blah, 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 blah. But they don't know what they're doing. They've never tried it. So where are they coming from? They're, they're speaking as, a, as a, a more of an amateur than you are. So their view isn't 100% valid, blah, 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 blah. And I can get me out, get me get myself out of it with like, that logical thinking. And then even if it is shit, even if, even if it isn't shit and they say it is, sometimes I'll just be like, well, I know it's not shit. Piss off. Um. <laughs> oh, God. I just... um. I'd love to download my brain and just look at it. Like, maybe I should be studied. Maybe I should just literally go to a psychologist and say, study me, help me. Um... It, it it interests me though how how my brain works and the more this this podcast weirdly enough is actually helped me the more I speak about it, it actually I have like an epiphanies while I'm talking to you because again you know this this thing isn't really scripted as you can tell uh, Christ if this was scripted then I would not be a good script writer um, excuse me while I have a drink I, I can't stop having a drink while I'm podcasting I'm sorry uh, it's the old uh, it's cheapo uh, Pepsi Max today so it's little uh, little's version of Pepsi Max which is like forty five p. So we're in, we're in a hard time. So little Pepsi Max it is. Oh, lip smacking good that was. Ah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. It does does interest me though the way the way that it the way that um, my brain works. Um, to have that it intrigues me because I've got that confidence, but not confident at the same time. And that that's a real, it's a real, it's just odd, isn't it? It's 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 just such a, a paradox there that I can I can be confident in something, even with my job. You know, I, I I work on the railway, and the job I'm doing now, I was pretty much I was pretty much headhunted for. Uh, someone asked me to try out for it uh, and apply for a secondment, which I which I we have a go at a secondment, which I did, and. I know that's a real, like, real privilege for someone to, like, come and ask you to to do a job. And even then, I I was not confident in in my ability. Uh, And I've been on the railway 21 years this year. And I I, I don't think, I wouldn't wouldn't profess to know everything about the railway, because there's so many different, it's such a massive industry. Uh, But even in my area field, I would say, like, I'm confident in it, but I don't know everything. Um... And it's, it's, um, it's weird when people say that I am and they go, oh, you're the expert in this. And I'm just like, wow, really? Um, kind of makes me anxious, but I, I normally come through with the goods. So maybe I, I do know what I'm doing. But it, again, it's that, it's that whole confidence thing. If someone says like, uh, one hand, I'm super confident about it and I, I can, I can do, I can run the Steve show and I can, I can, I can get the job done. Um, but I'm also surprised normally at the end of it as well, and it's not, and it's not even because I'm I'm, I'm rubbish at my job. I think I'm very good at my job. Yeah, there's the confidence there, um, but there's the instant doubt as well when I say it. I, I always I always want to say, but I'm not great, or I'm not the best, or I still got loads to learn, which I do have loads to learn. Everyone everyone can learn more in the job, especially when you're in a big vast industry. Um, but yeah, it's it it, it just really really. Um, intrigues me how the how the brain works and 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 also how how you have dedication to 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 stick at something. Like, do you have to have a certain mindset to to you know practice a guitar a guitar four hours a day? Because when I, when I was having organ lessons for some for example, you have to have a passion for something. And I had a passion for playing the organ. Like, I loved playing my organ. <laughs> no euphemism. Um. But even I couldn't still practice like more than like an hour a day. Like even if I did that, it would it felt like a chore still. Um, whereas it has to come naturally to me. So if if someone said to learn the to learn the organ, you must uh, put in this amount of time, or you must practice. But I think when someone says to me, "You must practice an hour a day," that's not how my brain works. And maybe this is what I've got to learn, that I've got to learn things in the way that I learn things. Uh, I'm having a right epiphany again. Um, 
So yeah, I think I think it's got to be maybe maybe brought around myself. And this is one of the reasons I'm doing my big tidy in my room because what what I was saying to Sarah yesterday was that I want everything to be at hand. So I want everything to be tidy, constantly tidy, which at the moment it is not. It's it's massive. It's it's a it's not completely bad. I think if you walked in my room now, you'd be like, "Holy crap! How do you even find where stuff is? And why is loads of shit everywhere?" And, but I know where things are, but it's still not organized. And what I want to be able to do is, I want to be like, I'm going to do photography today and get my photography flight case out and go and do photography. Or it's podcasting time, get the podcasting flight case out, set up, record a podcast. Or um, I want to, I'm going to sort some Lego. Let's get a Lego box out, sort some Lego, put it away again. And that's that's what I want to do. And the same in the garage. I'm still on a friggin' garage tidy. And that's what I want to do in the garage. Because I think the way my mind works is I need to have free access to the things I want to do in that moment. And I need to I need to also listen to myself in that moment as well and not feel guilty about it. I think that say I'm sat watching a film with Sarah or we're sat downstairs. I need to be able to say to her, Sarah, it's photography time. Sarah. I need to go and do Lego for half an hour. Sarah, I'm going to go and sort a piece of wood up in the garage for half an hour. And I have to listen to my own brain and go, this is what your brain wants to do right now. This is the mindset you're in. Go and learn some Japanese. Um, and I'd, I'd love to learn mechanics, of course. So I think if, I, if that structure of like, right, you must be at this place because you're paying, especially if you're paying for it. Well, that's motivation for me. Hate wasting money. Um Go and go and do this mechanics course at the college, wherever, and you're paying for it, so you can't miss it. Um, yeah, and that and that's going to help me with my motorbike because I'm I want to my old motorbike is in a terrible state of repair, makes me want to cry, and I want to take it all apart and revamp it and get it back on the road. Especially at the moment, I don't have a bike, so that's that's another thing that's doing my head in at the moment. Not being able to just hit the road on a on a motorcycle. Um, not had that pleasure for a while, so. Um, yeah, I need to write this down. I maybe should listen, re-listen to this episode, and and re-listen to all these these tips and hints I'm giving myself. Um, but yeah, I just think that um, if you are you a master of something, let me know if you're a master of something. Come on the show and tell me about it. Come on the podcast, tell me what you're a master of. Um, and how did you get there? And was it difficult? Was it disciplined? Did you have to force yourself to do that, or was it something that came naturally to you? Did really it really Honestly, it really intrigues me because, like, I am so flaky when it comes to things. Um, but, well, I am. I'm such a contradiction. I'm such. I'm swing, like, from one extreme to the other. You can tell I'm a Libra. Like, I can't. I just fall swear in the middle all the time, um, with giant swings. I just. Um, I, I would. I would. I would love to just have that dedication for something that that I could stick to. And hopefully this podcast will be it, by the way. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, I, I would just like to be a master of something. And it's not even like a thing to be remembered for. I don't want to be remembered because Stephen was a master of podcasting. <laughs> um, can you be a master of podcasting? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I think it's just to say that this is something I've worked hard for. And this is, you know, this is where I've got to. And I just think that would be... I just think that would be a nice thing to. I think that's just would just would just be a nice thing to, you know, I don't know. Just say to people, really. I think just that that's that's something that is a thing in your life. I think music could have been it, though. I think music could have been it. Maybe. Can you can you can you restart an old? Can you restart an old? Um talent like that can can you could i kick that off could i rekindle that uh masterful organist in in myself and and uh masterful organist um and, and and rekindle that flame who knows who knows who knows thank you for listening to me ramble um there's only going to be a couple more episodes in this season uh it kills me when I talk like that. It makes me sound like I've got a TV program or something. Um, yeah, so I'm only going to do a couple more episodes in this season. Then I'll be taking a couple of weeks break. 
then coming back at the end of October, beginning of November with uh, Series 2. Um, if you've got any suggestions for me, just hit me up on social media at Steven Speak PC. And um, yeah, thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves, and I will uh, speak to you all soon. You've been listening to Steven Speak Podcast. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Thank you.